Hello KBU Nation, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to a brand new episode of the World of Outlaws, and welcome back to the new episode of the career mode of the World of Outlaws. Today we are back again with some more career mode, as I said. Um, we are running the three more races today, with two of them being street stocks, and then one being the late models. We have two races at Kokomo today, and then one at Sterling County um, Speedway, so... Yeah, uh, we're pretty much just going to get right into this. Um, if you haven't checked out the last episode, please do so. Um, very entertaining. Well, I guess I can't really say that. I got one video I'm working on um, as I'm recording this one that I'm going to have posted out. I'm recording on Sunday. It should be out on Sunday. So um We'll have that video posted, and then I'll post this video next after that, and a couple days after that video posts. So we're just going to kind of keep going on down the line um, with the World of Outlaws and with uh, Formula One. Um, real quick, too, with Formula One, um, I was recording some of that again today, um, this morning. Um and I, more and more, I was kind of looking at it with the Formula One F123 side of things, not F1 manager. I've decided to put F123 uh, on hold and probably just not do that kind of type of content because I'm not that good at the game. I'm not really good at this game either, but you guys really do enjoy it. So I'm going to keep putting videos out of this content right here. We could, as a matter of fact, keep posting more of this. And just add more cars into it. Um, being as I am dropping F123 as part of that career mode. Um, or we could add like a championship to this uh, series. And just keep putting more of this content out. Because like I said, you guys really seem to enjoy this content. And I'm enjoying putting out this content for you guys. So we definitely could keep do going with this. So let me know. If that's what you want to see, if you want to see more of this, or if there's a certain game you want to see. Um, obviously, right now, um, if you've seen some of my thumbnails, obviously, I'm a NASCAR fan at heart. Um, I'm a NASCAR fan at, at heart first over anything else. And it's been kind of tough for me over the last, especially starting out as a content creator, um, when there's no NASCAR content to put out. Because there's been no new NASCAR game for that's been good since NASCAR Heat 5. Um, and that was back in 2020. So, which is very unfortunate. Um, there is mods out there. And I do have it on, have NASCAR Heat 5 on PC. There are mods out there um, that do update you to 2023 cars. Um, if you guys want to see that. Let me know if we want to if we want to do something like that. We I'm more than willing to do that. Um, I just had to go in there and figure it out, which shouldn't take me too much time. But that's just something we can do. But let me know down in the comments if you want to see that. Um, let me know down in the comments if you want to see more of this or just anything in particular that does involve uh, racing. Um, hell, we could even put I don't know. There's a Lego game that's coming out. Um, there is also NASCAR Arcade Rush that's coming out later this year. Um, actually, I think it's coming out in a couple months, as a matter of fact. So I'd have to double check that. But there is NASCAR content coming out soon. Just not like full-blown NASCAR NASCAR. Um, so but just let me know if you guys want to see that. Um, also, too, if you like you said, if you do enjoy the content here on this channel, hit that like button. And subscribe if you're new, and I will really it would really be appreciative that uh, I came to speak. I'd really appreciate it if you guys do that. So thank you, thank you to all who have subscribed already and have liked and commented on some of my videos. Thank you, thank you. Let's get into this career mode. We're gonna get started here. We're gonna start in the regionals today. We're gonna go to Kokomo, get the two Kokomo races out of the way. Actually, we could do. Split them up, but I think I'm going to do the two Kokomos first. Get them out of the way. I'll see you guys out there on the track for race number one, which will be the Street Stocks. 
One thing to make note too here as we get started with qualifying, this is a showcase event. So a top 60 in this showcase event will get us a new sponsor for this car, which means higher payouts and bigger bonuses since we are now in the regionals for the street stock. Let's try to get through into turn three and four here to complete the first lap. It is a 14347, which obviously our goal times, we're going to be tremendously good, be tremendously good on our goal time um, because we're in a fast street stock already for the local circuit. Lap two is a 14168. That is 19th place. And we will start heat three in fifth place. That is a good result. Um, now, unfortunately, for the heat races, you have to be top three in the showcase events. No, wait. No, you do have to. Be, you can be top five. Okay. I thought it was top three in the showcase events because there's like 60 guys here. Oh, whatever. Oh, look. Looky who's on our outside of row two. It is Cam Jurens. Now, if, you pay, if you've seen the last few episodes, uh, last two episodes here of this career mode, Cam Jurens has been a rival of ours. He took us out at, um, where did he wreck us at? I think it was Old Mill Speedway. Millville, that's where it was. He wrecked us there at Millville, and we kind of gave him some payback. Tried to, at least. I don't think we've actually given him payback yet. Maybe we have. No, wait, we have given him payback. Darn, I was going to actually try to wreck him in this race. Oh, well. Anyway, we're maintaining fifth place right now. Going to try the outside to see if we can't make something happen here. To get around Mr. Cam Jurens. But right now, it is not working too well. Two laps to go here. Let's just hold on. Oh, 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 oh. Two laps to go. Um, now we need to hold on here. Make sure that Robbie Jackson doesn't get around us. As we are on the final lap and smack the wall. Trying to stay right there on the bottom and kind of block Jackson's entry. Just go where he goes because he can't get around us if he goes where we go. And there. Now we're into the A main in fifth place. That was kind of uh, sketchy. But... We are guaranteed new sponsor with finishing in fifth there. So let's get on the A main here and we're start 19th. Hopefully we can move up through the field here. All right, here we go. It is A main time for the street stocks at Kokomo. Green flag is out. We are racing. We only got 24 laps to do something, so we got to make it happen. We got to make it fast. So far, we've moved up four places here since the start in 15th place. Trying to go for 14th, make a little bit of contact with Barnes. As, as you can see, we got Cam Jurens now trying to get around us again, and this time we wreck Barnes off turn four. Caution is out. Caution is out. We finally did dump Barnes coming off the corner. That's unfortunate. Sorry there, Mr. Barnes. Green flag back out. And let's get back to racing. About like what I saw uh, Friday night. <laughs> uh, this past Friday, I went to the races at the local circ dirt track here in town. And something similar kind of happened, except it was going into a corner. And our uh, the local track's kind of like a bull ring here in town. And a couple guys made contact, or it was a guy and a girl. The they were battling for the win in the feature in the street stocks, as a matter of fact. One made con, they were making contact with each other going into the corner. Then they make contact going down the straightaway. 
and the guy who was the leader had gotten passed by the girl who was one of the faster cars there. The guy just sent it to turn one and just dumped her. And of course, the crowd was letting him have it. The crowd was letting him have it, to say the very least. But anyway, back to our race here. 16 laps to go. We are in P16 as we screwed up that corner. We were off to a good start, but now it's kind of died off. Now we're just trying to get it back going here. Haven't really figured out Kokomo too much with these with this car. We just haven't been very fast. I kind of struggled with this car in the uh, locals for the locals to start the season, which you guys didn't see that. But it's been kind of a, it was kind of a struggle here at Kokomo, so I'm expecting the same as far as. Uh, the late models are concerned and we may not even make the main feature in the late models but anyway let's just settle into a rhythm here we're in 16th right behind our of course our rival cam jurens so let's see if we can't run him down here in the next 11 laps and of course now we got passed by richardson hey get out of the way don't you rough me up the racetrack richardson I'll send you. Did you see not see what happened to Cam Jurens when he does stuff like that? And someone wanted to fight me after the race and I think it was the last episode. <laughs> I think someone wanted to fight me in one episode. There we go. Slide job, slide job. Yes, there we go. Perfect little slide job maneuver there. And then Richardson's going to come back and do the same thing. We're going to do the same thing to him in three. <laughs> oh, that didn't work. I was trying not to hit him. I was really trying not to hit him. And we didn't, which was good. But now we lost that position. And may have lost it for the rest of the race. Because I may not catch him here with four laps to go. Alright, P17 there. Yeah, we just, he just, Richardson just kind of got away from us there at the end. But we finished P17, one lap down. And yeah, not a bad result um, for regionals. We're just continuing to try to improve the car. So that's pretty much all we can do is just continue to improve it. But let's get on to the late models here. And just... Yeah, try to keep grinding through on those late models because we know it's going to be a struggle. But we do have a new sponsorship. I'll probably do that real quick here while we're looking at it. So I'll do that. Get that car, get that street stock ready to go. And we'll get ready for the late model event. All right. So this one also at Kokomo is a showcase event. We have to finish top 60 in order to get a new sponsor for the late model which would be huge for us as that would be the big bucks that we would get the late model is where the big bucks are right now so we get some more money in here we get like seven thousand dollars a race plus depending on finishing the same spot that we do as far as the street stocks and that's just the base payout. As that lap was well over a second faster than the goal time. Or, no, that's not the goal time. I'm sorry. It was a few tenths faster. We are 44th place, which is good news for us because we have to be top 60. Essentially, essentially we're going to get the sponsor regardless, which kind of sucks. <laughs> one thing two um yeah it just it just sucks because 
you should at least have to finish in a certain position. You don't have, shouldn't have to finish last to get the sponsor, but that's all right. We're not too worried about it. But anyway, let's get ready here to go green in heat number two. Starting in P8, and we've already lost one spot here. Like I said, I've got a funny feeling. I don't think we're making the feature in this. Just because we struggled here at Kokomo in the street stocks. So I can see ourselves struggling here, too. But who knows? You never know until you just get into the race. We did do some upgrades to the parts that we already have on this car. We've upgraded some of the parts to make this car hopefully go a little bit faster. Oh, I really got to be ready for the catch on the cushion there. Really got to be ready for it. If you're not ready for it, you're in trouble. A uh, short little uh, heat race here, only six laps. We're just kind of following this one guy right now who's riding the top lane. Oh, as I say that, I just slap the wall. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Final lap, though. Let's see if we can't catch Benefield here. Nope. And we got arrow damage. Wow. Instant arrow. That sucks. All right, well, P8. We're going to go to the B main here. See if we can't work our way up through we need to get top five actually we're going to the d main because we finished so low and there's going to be several mains because of how many cars there are so we got to finish top five i think here to get to the c main top five in the c main to get to the b and then top five in the b to get to the a so this is going to make for one long uh run here if we can do it so here we go first main for us can we get ourselves into the c main green flag is out and we're racing here in the d main for 12 laps get that run off turn four put us into the lead really got to send that car into the corner as soon as it jumps on that cushion start gassing it so you can get it to go There we go. All right, let's just hold on here. Keep our momentum going. Keep our uh, wits about us here. Get on to the C main. Ah, caution. Of course. Not what I wanted. That was a caution. So we're gonna have to go and do this again. Here we go, come to the restart. Green flag. Run Adams up the racetrack. Now Frankie Martinez. It's to our inside, but we'll clear Martinez easily. And with two laps to go, we are in the lead. And off turn four as we slap the wall again. It is first for the D main, which means we move on to the C, starting in 13th. Now here's the problem. We got to work our way through the field here and get ourselves into the B main, working our way up through the field. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a long one. But let's get it. Green flag. Just kind of do what we did and run that top side. And I think we'll be okay. I say that, and I slap the wall. down here on the bottom get that run off slide up in front of that guy and we made our pass and we hit the wall again okay get into a rhythm here 10 laps to go they are three wide up ahead of us this is gonna be tough go around the outside oh don't hit that wall hit that wall it's death 
but we made our passes. So that puts us up to P10 for the moment. We're continuing to move through. Drop down to the middle here. Sounds like there's a wreck, and there is. Caution is out. I heard that collision somewhere in the background behind us, so caution came out. Now we are in P8. We have four more spots, or three, four more spots left to make up to get ourselves into the B main. Six laps to go. Can we do it? It remains to be seen if we can race our way in. As right now, after the, that first slap there with five to go, we are up to P6. And we're going to fly around the outside into P5. So we are officially in right now as we stand. Now we just have to finish the job here. Four laps to go. And Blake is not giving up without a fight down there on the bottom. He is not giving up one bit. Three laps to go to get ourselves into the B main. And now we're going to be on the outside of Baker with two laps to go. Try to get ourselves into fourth place. The higher up we are for the next main, the better. It increases our chances of getting in. One lap to go. Not sponsored by Credit One Bank. And we get off turn four, get some more aero damage again. And that is P4 in the C main, which means we will move on to the B main now, starting in P16 this time. Let's see if we can race ourselves in again. All right, coming to the green for the B main. Can we race ourselves in? Let's find out. Green flag is out. Again, we should have 12 laps. Contact there with Ben Matthews, who will not get out of our way. So we may have to push the issue here. We are going to have to push the issue regardless, because we've got to get up to the top five as quick as we can. Which, by the looks of it right now, I don't think is happening. We've got nine laps here left. Let's see if we can continue to work our way up, but I don't know if it's going to happen, guys. Wow, that car really pushes down on the bottom. It does not turn at all down on the bottom. Kind of have to keep it up top here in order to get it to turn right. Six laps to go. Oh, a little bit of contact up there. We are only in P16, P15 right now. I don't think we're getting in, guys. Uh, caution is out for a wreck somewhere. We're in P15. I don't think we're getting in. Because I haven't hardly made any ground on anybody to this point. Green flag is back out. Let's try to work our way up. I mean, that's all we can do. Four laps to go. We make up some spots there. Man, you can just feel that car bouncing on you in the wheel. You can really feel the car bouncing. We're just trying everything we can to make up positions. It's just extremely tough to keep up, especially when you're in a slower car. As we're on the final lap, coming out of turn four, no aero damage this time, but it is P13. And that is us out of the event here at Kokomo. We will not move on to the feature, which sucks but there's nothing we could have really done about it uh, Mike Norris 
He is your big winner tonight for the showcase event here at Kokomo. Ben Wells in second. Morgan Alexander in third. Tyler Burgess, Taylor Puckett, your top five. So, yeah, nothing we can do there. Um, wish we could have done a little bit better, but, hey, that's all the ri that's what it is. That's this career mode. We're going to have to work our way up from the bottom. But we do get the sponsorship here for Circle Lake Paint Store. Um, initial payout is $6,100 um, for the initial payout, and then per race is six grand. So that's a lot of money for us. All right, next up, we will have Grant Park for the late models, and we'll have a different look for the car also to kind of coexist with the paint scheme. So that'll be in the next episode. And now we will go back to the local circuit and get ready to run the Stir run at the Sterling County Speedway in Illinois, 15 lap feature um, in the local street stocks. Hopefully this car, actually, can we upgrade it some more? I think we can upgrade our couple more of our part. No, we can't. We have to buy a new engine. We have to buy a level three engine because all this stuff is level three now since I've updated it. So, all right, upgrade that. And here we go. Our current sponsor for this series is Bob's Towing, but we do have wind tires on the car. Um, they will not pay us for the sponsorship um, in the local circuit. Um, Bob's Towing does. So that's one of the things, too, of why we really need to win a championship in this season. Um, right now we are third. We're 28 points below first place, so we really need a good finish here at this quarter mile circuit in Sterling County. Let's go out there and get ourselves a win. At least I hope. All right, here we go. Qualifying here at Sterling County. I got this car a little bit looser. The street stocks I don't normally set loose, um, just because they don't turn very well when they're sideways. So I kind of have them set mainly tight. As that first lap was not good. See why they don't turn very well. They don't turn very well down on the bottom when they're too far sideways. And just P20 as the is the result. We will go to heat four starting in fifth. So top five will get us in, but let's move our way up through the field here. We got Cross ahead of us, and Blake is also starting first in this heat. He is your current points leader for the local circuit, so we need to beat him if we can. And that first little turn there was actually pretty good. Not going to lie, that bottom lane might be of use to us after all. least here at the start cross is up top there he's going all the way to the top and getting a huge run as we get to try to block off Barnes from him getting to our quarter panel and getting around us can't really get this car full on sideways but if you, you basically what I'm doing trying to do is aim it trying to aim it for the straightaway gas it and go and it's actually helping us on time right now let's aim it aim it for the straightaway as we do get we're alongside cross by doing this final lap here okay there you go we got along we got a round cross and we might actually get ourselves into the qualify dash here with that run. Okay, it is qualify dash. We got P2. Good result right there. That is a confidence booster for us, especially since our we were struggling a little bit qualifying. So we were struggling a little bit qualifying, but we found something here. So hopefully that'll get make us faster and we'll get faster in the race and maybe get ourselves a win here to end this video. All right, here we go, qualify dash time. 
Let's get ourselves a good result. Green flag is out. It's going to take us a minute to get going compared to the rest, so we may not start off very well, but six laps, we can definitely make up ground quick. We are already kind of starting in on it there. Oh, didn't have a very good corner. That's not what I wanted to do. But we did all right there. If we get top five here in the qualify dash, I'll actually be pretty happy with it. Let's try to get around Hill. Now we're running up top because Hill is running our lane at the moment. They're making contact up ahead of us there. It looks like Jurens is involved. Go figure. This time we're making that move to the inside on Hill. That time it didn't work. And then we're not going to be able to get to him here. We do get to his bumper, but it is P6 in the qualify dash and move up two places. So that is where we will start for the A main. Let's see. Let's see if we can go get our first win this season and kind of help us in the points. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get us a good result here. Come on. Come on with it. This dog's going to hunt here in a minute. Green flag is out. We are racing here at Sterling County for the feature. Racing during the daytime for the A main, which is kind of a surprise. But. After lap one, we are in fifth place, looking for fourth and more. Jurens, a little bit of contact there. But we do get around them. We're going around the outside of him and Ned Hill. Hill's kind of a, been a problem child for us so far in this uh, local race. As he's just been kind of in our way. As we try and try to get around him, this time we might clear him. As we are up on that high lane, he's taking the short way around. And it's working for him, but not for long as we now move into third place. And we look like we're a little bit faster than these guys in front of us here. We just got around Blake Schlinkloth for second, which is what we needed because he is the point leader coming into this. We get a win here, we move up in the points. But now it's time to go after Tommy Bailey, who is the current leader. Again, we gotta aim that car in, but now we got lap traffic, which is an issue. We can't get around lap traffic, we won't win this race. Try a different lane here, see if we can't get up to Bailey up ahead of us. Trying everything we can think of. We really need a caution is what we need. Maybe another caution will get us caught back up here. And there it is! A wreck in turn one has brought out the caution. Oh, this is our chance, guys. This is our chance. We need to get a good start here. Get us a good restart. And green flag is out. Here we go. A four lap shootout to decide the A main. Look at that run that we got off turn two. Huge run off turn two. Good enough run off turn four. Puts us to the lead with three laps to go. But Bailey is there still. He's going to run that bottom lane. We're going to run up top. It is gonna be a battle, two laps to go for the A main. It's 
still side by side with each other. It's just going to come down to one lap to go. I think we got him. Oh, back corner there for us. Bailey is there at the line. We get him at the line. Yes. <laughs> Woo. That was close. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh. Look how much we beat him. Wow. That was a difference. I'm thinking that that is a difference of one one thousandth of a second. One one thousandth of a second. Let's look at this, guys. We, we got to look at this. Um, get a good camera angle here. I don't know if we can get a... It's not really one one thousandth of a second, but we beat him by a nose. We beat him by a fender, from the looks of it. I mean, we had a we had a good corner coming out of two there. Three and four, we did not have a good corner at all. And Bailey was there, and we got that run on the outside. Made a little bit of contact with him, because you know what? Rubbin's racing. We got to battle this out to the end. And there you go. That's a good one. We're going to battle this out till the end. And yeah. I mean, we made contact with him. But it was coming to the victory of a street stock event. You're bound to make contact. <laughs> Rubin's racing. That's all. That's what it is. Rubin is racing. But whoo. That, if that's how we get our first win of the uh, season for the street stocks, I'm not sure what to expect the rest of the season. We have leapfrog everybody below us here. We have jumped from 7th to 2nd in the championship. Blake Schlenkloth has yet to secure a victory this season in the street stocks, but he is currently still leading the points. We are 20 points back right now of him. As we should only have so many races left in the season. I don't think there's many left. It's kind of a short season. We're already done with like four or five races by now. So let's take a look at it here. We do get the sponsor goal. Um, actually, we don't get the sponsor goal. But in the course, Stevens wins at Sterling County. And apparently I danced on top of the car with the best air guitar work anyone has ever seen. Um, normally that's not true for me. Um, I'm terrible as far as the air guitar. Um, next up, though, for the read, for the locals, we go to Lima Land Speedway. Let's do top tens for the normal goal. We do get a new mechanic as well. Hmm. As we continue to fire on all cylinders at possible, we are almost to the halfway point of the season after the race in Elm Creek. The Elm Creek will be the halfway point. We have Lima Land coming up next, Elm Creek, Kokomo again, which is going to probably be a struggle, Fairbury, Prairie View, and Lima Land for the second time, and then Eldora. Man. That was quite a finish. That was quite a finish for us there. So we really need to do well here, um, obviously at Elm Creek, because Kokomo is going to be a struggle for us. Although it is a showcase event, which means guys won't finish nearly as high up, because we're going to have more than just the locals there. Um, Fairbury, of course, is a good track for us, because we finished third. In that race, it was a showcase event then, so we could finish first there because the two guys that were in that showcase event raced the regionals. So, yeah, this is going to get interesting. This will definitely get interesting down the stretch. Can we secure a championship in the street stocks? We're currently sitting second place right now and only 20 points back as we 
hit the halfway point of that season. As far as the regionals are concerned, obviously, that's just our first season in that. So I can't say we're going to win anything in that. But, I mean, we're going to Lincoln Speedway next for that track. That track is very fun. It was a lot of fun. I'm, I haven't raced yet on the street stocks, but I do enjoy that track. And then Grant Park is up next for the late models. Currently sitting 22nd in that championship. And we're 14th in the street stock championship. Yet to secure a win in both of those. But yeah, that is going to do it for this episode, guys. I do hope you enjoyed. And if you did, hit that like button, comment, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Take care.